Today we're going to be attempting to make concrete pumpkins. I'm so excited about this craft. It looks really easy. To do this craft, you only need three things. Pantyhose, rubber bands, and concrete. We've seen pictures of these kind of pumpkins on Pinterest, but we haven't actually watched videos of people making them. <laughs> so we're just kind of conceptualizing that we think this is how it goes. It's kind of like getting something and not reading the directions. So yeah. we just do it. I never read the directions. This might be a disaster. It might be incredible. <laughs> Let's try to make some concrete pumpkins. <laughs> Let's get the concrete into the bucket. Woo! That was dusty. Let's add some water in to eliminate some of our dust. I'm gonna put the mixer thingy onto the drill and then it'll mix it up a lot faster than I could mix it up by hand. Apron me, thank you. As if I'm not already wearing my entire painting outfit. I just wanted to match you and wear an apron and gloves. <laughs> All right, mom, show me how you're gonna put the, the pantyhose on the funnel. We're gonna use that. Mm hmm. And we're gonna put it all like that. We're gonna pour the concrete into here. Yep. And then this is gonna get really fat like a pumpkin. Hopefully. And then we're gonna tie it off with rubber bands so it looks like it has pumpkin bumps. Good. Time to scoop. <laughs> is it gonna go through the funnel? <gasps> it worked. It's a baby pumpkin. <laughs> Okay. Keep filling her up. All right. Okay. Woo. More? Yep, a lot more. Oh. <laughs> getting close to stuff. All right, I think that's probably good. To make sure that we like bounce all the air bubbles out of it. Let's tie it off so the top can hopefully be used as like the pumpkin stem. Now we're gonna go in with the rubber bands and put them around the pumpkin. Mm -hmm. to make the little can you pick it up? Yep. Heavy in it. Mm hmm. Good. Looking mm -hmm. good. Cool. I like it. We're gonna let it dry overnight and then we are going to actually be cutting the 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 rubber bands and we're gonna see how it looks when it's all finished and maybe we'll even paint it. Super excited about the little concrete pumpkins. The concrete that we mixed up ended up making four concrete pumpkins and we love that they are all drastically different. They're different sizes, different shapes, different types of rubber bands. Now we just need to let them dry overnight and tomorrow we will be painting them. It's the next day and it's officially time to check on our pantyhose and concrete pumpkins. Our biggest decision today is if we're gonna be taking off the pantyhose or not. So we know that we're gonna be taking off all of the rubber bands, but we're just trying to decide if we should just leave the pantyhose on and paint over the pantyhose or if we should take off the pantyhose. Mom, what are you leaning towards? I don't know. I think I'm gonna see what happens. See what happens? I get all the rubber bands off. Okay, my rubber bands are almost all off. Okay, but look at this. My pantyhose right there are already coming off. My rubber bands are really in there. I doubt if I get the pantyhose off anything but the top. Really? I bet it won't come off. I don't know, Let's try it. No. Oh, it's coming off. <gasps> Ooh. Ooh. Okay, let's do this. It does actually, that look perfect? It's actually come off really well. Oh. We're gonna have to figure out the stem. Maybe we get a vine. These are way cuter than I thought they were gonna be. Our little plump pumpkins. Tomorrow we'll be doing the stems and the painting. It's now been about 48 hours since we first made our little concrete pumpkins using pantyhose. They seem sufficiently dry, so I think it's time for us to spray paint them and then add on the stems. All right, mom, which color do you think you're gonna paint your pumpkin? I don't know. I, don't might, know. I might take a little bit of orange and mm -hmm. white. Ooh, that'd be pretty. I think I'm gonna do one orange and one green and then maybe add on like with a little sponge brush some like white, like, yeah, right, I don't you think? It's crazy how rocky the bottom is and how the sides are so smooth. All right, we're gonna start with the bottom like with our concrete mushrooms. <gasps> okay, I love that color green. Oh no, wrong one. That's all right. I just put green on it. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> See the texture of the pantyhose. Yeah, you really am. I'm experimenting with some of the darker of the green. Mm -hmm. From our Dollar Tree paint. A little bit of white and some cornstarch just for texture. So I'm gonna hit it with spray paint first and then I'm gonna swab this on. 
no idea if it's going to work, but we'll find out. I'm not crazy about my orange pumpkin, so I'm spray painting it white, and now I don't know if I'm crazy about the white pumpkin either. The white and green could be pretty together, though. Mm -hmm. So I ended up not liking the way that the white looked, so I mixed some Dollar Tree paint together with some cornstarch to, like, thicken it up, and now we are painting it orange. I like this orange better than our original spray-painted orange, for sure. I just looked at my mom's pumpkins and saw that they were way cooler than mine, so I'm now doing a bunch more stuff to mine. I just added speckles all over this. I'm gonna take some green and try to like paint some details. I'm gonna keep the green one how it is and I think this is how I want my orange one to be. Mom, is this the final version of yours? Mm, it's getting close. The, the orange, I think, yes. Your orange one looks absolutely incredible. Look at that. Just gotta let them dry and then we're gonna do the stems. We are to the final stage of our pantyhose concrete pumpkins. Let's put on the stems. We got these super cool sticks cause dad went foraging in the woods for them. Thanks dad. No problem. <laughs> I don't know how long to make the stem maybe there. I think that's perfect. Time to get out the glue. Gonna be using this epoxy glue. <gasps> oh my gosh, that's so much. That's so much. And putting our stem right in it. That came out so quickly. I did not expect that. Oopsie. Look how cute this curly Q is. Oh my gosh. Okay, yeah, that's perfect. And it's gonna sit right in the epoxy that was like running over. We're using this to like balance it and hold it up because it just kept falling over. And literally I stood here and held it in place for like five minutes and it's gonna take like an hour to set. So um, yeah, I'm really excited about it. It's so cute. And this is the stem that I picked out for this one. Mom, you wanna show me your stems? Yeah. We have this stem. So cute. cute. I'm not sure about this one yet. I like it. Our pantyhose concrete pumpkins turned out better than I could have imagined. I am just obsessed with them.